All right, a real quick one to show you why you never, ever, ever use input boxes or message boxes in a user-defined function. Input boxes and message boxes are reserved for just regular subroutines. Uh, let's just say we wanted to do a case study on the volume, and maybe I've got the radius defined as 4, so I'm just going to go ahead and type in RAD there to name that. And we're doing a case study on the height ranging from maybe 0.5 up to 5, all right? And I can use my cone volume function just like I would others. So I'm going to use the radius as my radius, right? That's an absolute reference. And then I'm going to be referencing the height. And right now it's working great. So we go, we can double click down and we real quickly fill that in. So let me just delete this and let me show you what happens when people try to put input boxes or message boxes. So a lot of times, instead of outputting it using the proper way for a function, which is the name of the function, they'll just do something like message box. So this is the volume and we want to put that in a message box. And it kind of makes sense when you're learning these subroutines uh, where we've used input boxes and message boxes. But let me show you what happens when we try to do that. So if I type in my cone volume function with the radius and the corresponding height, and I do that, it says, you know, it outputs that in a message box, which is fine. And I guess it's okay for if you have one, right? You just click OK. First of all, it doesn't give you the answer in the cell in order to leave that answer in the cell it needs to be the name of the function so you but also if somebody you know maybe you have a hundred of these and you drag down that formula into all these different cells look what happens you got a message box to click okay 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 and so on and it's obviously you don't want the user to be having to do that and it doesn't even give you the right answer there so that's why you never ever ever want to use message boxes in a function and you similarly you don't want to use input boxes